Hello, and welcome to another video about martial arts. Self-defense in martial arts, origins, and important. What is self-defense? Self-defense refers to the practice of protecting oneself from physical harm, danger, or threat. In the context of martial arts, it involves learning techniques and strategies to neutralize or escape potential attackers. While self-defense techniques vary across martial arts styles, the common goal is to empower individuals with the skills and confidence to respond effectively to threatening situations. Origins in martial arts. The concept of self-defense is deeply rooted in the historical origins of many traditional martial arts. Ancient martial arts were often developed as practical methods for individuals to protect themselves in times of conflict or danger. These arts were refined over centuries, incorporating elements of strategy, technique, and mental discipline to empower practitioners against various forms of aggression. Why should people learn self-defense? Personal safety, learning self-defense equips individuals with the tools to protect themselves in potentially dangerous situations. It provides a sense of security and confidence, allowing people to navigate the world with greater assurance. Empowerment self-defense training empowers individuals by fostering a mindset of self-reliance. It helps build physical and mental strength, enabling practitioners to confront challenges and adversity more effectively. Physical fitness. Many self-defense techniques involve physical movements that enhance overall fitness. Training in martial arts promotes strength, flexibility, agility, and cardiovascular health, contributing to a healthier lifestyle, awareness, and preparedness. Self-defense training emphasizes situational awareness and the ability to recognize potential threats. This heightened awareness allows individuals to proactively avoid or navigate potentially risky situations. Confidence and mental resilience. Knowing that one possesses the skills to defend oneself can boost confidence and mental resilience. This self-assurance often extends beyond physical confrontations, positively impacting various aspects of life. Discipline and focus. Martial arts training instills discipline and focus qualities that are valuable, not only in self-defense scenarios, but also in daily life. The mental discipline cultivated in martial arts can enhance decision-making and concentration. Community and camaraderie. Many self-defense classes and martial arts schools foster a sense of community. Learning and practicing self-defense techniques in a supportive environment can create lasting friendships and provide a shared sense of purpose. In essence, self-defense in martial arts serves as a practical and holistic approach to personal safety. Beyond physical techniques, it instills valuable life skills, promoting mental fortitude, discipline, and a heightened sense of awareness. Ultimately, the goal is to empower individuals to navigate the world confidently while fostering a community of like-minded individuals committed to personal safety and well-being. Let's delve deeper into the reasons why people should learn self-defense in the context of martial arts. Conflict resolution skills, stress relief, and mental well-being, realistic training scenarios, adaptability and continuous learning, personal growth and character development, cultural appreciation and respect, preparedness for emergency situations, and more things. Self-defense principles and techniques derived from martial arts play a significant role in the training and application of skills in the context of UFC Ultimate Fighting Championship and MMA Mixed Martial Arts. Here's how these principles are integrated and proved to be invaluable in. The half this that's half is not trying to go back with what? Stop. But you hit me this one, I hit back. Yeah, I go back, but I hit. I hear. MMA integration. UFC and MMA fighters often train in a variety of martial arts disciplines, blending striking arts such as Muay Thai and boxing with grappling arts such as Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and wrestling. This versatility 
allows fighters to adapt their strategies and techniques based on their opponent's strengths and weaknesses during a match. Effective striking and stand-up game, martial arts influence, traditional martial arts, especially those with a focus on striking, contribute significantly to a fighter's stand-up game in MMA. Techniques such as kicks, punches, elbows and knee strikes, derived from disciplines like kickboxing and Muay Thai, are fundamental in an MMA fighter's arsenal. Clinch work and grappling, martial arts influence, grappling arts like Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and wrestling, have a profound impact on the clinch work and ground game in MMA. Techniques such as takedowns, submissions, and ground control are essential skills that often determine the outcome of a match. Defense and countering. Martial arts influence. Martial arts emphasize defensive strategies, and this aspect is crucial in the defensive maneuvers employed by MMA fighters. Techniques such as blocking, parrying, and evasive footwork are drawn from traditional martial arts and are integral in avoiding strikes and creating opportunities for counterattacks. Conditioning and fitness. Martial arts influence. Traditional martial arts often incorporate rigorous physical conditioning. This discipline carries over into the world of MMA, where fighters need exceptional cardiovascular endurance, strength, and agility. Training regimens borrowed from martial arts contribute to the overall fitness and conditioning of MMA athletes. Mental toughness and focus. Martial arts influence. The mental aspects of martial arts, including discipline, focus, and mental toughness, are equally vital in the high-pressure environment of UFC and MMA. Fighters need the ability to stay composed, make split-second decisions, and maintain focus throughout a match. Adaptability and strategy. Martial arts influence. The adaptability cultivated in traditional martial arts is reflected in the strategic approach of MMA fighters. They must be able to adjust their game plan based on their opponent's strengths, weaknesses, and the dynamics of the fight. The ability to seamlessly transition between different martial arts techniques is a hallmark of successful MMA fighters. Preparation for various scenarios. Martial arts influence. MMA fighters, like martial artists, prepare for a diverse range of scenarios. This includes being ready for both stand-up exchanges and ground engagements, showcasing the holistic nature of their training. The connection between self-defense and Wing Chun is profound, as Wing Chun is inherently designed as a practical and effective system for self-defense. Several key principles and elements of Wing Chun contribute to its effectiveness in real-world self-defense scenarios. Efficiency and directness. Wing Chun is characterized by its emphasis on direct and efficient movements. Practitioners are trained to respond to attacks with the most straightforward and economical techniques, making it well-suited for self-defense situations where quick and precise actions are crucial. Centerline theory. The centerline theory in Wing Chun dictates that attacks and defenses should be directed along the imaginary line running down the center of the body. This concept allows Wing Chun practitioners to control an opponent's centerline, offering an advantage in close quarters combat and providing a direct path to exploit vulnerabilities. Simultaneous attack and defense, Wing Chun practitioners are trained to simultaneously defend and attack, maintaining a constant threat to the opponent. This approach is particularly valuable in self-defense scenarios, where the ability to counter an attack swiftly while protecting oneself is essential. Chi Seo, Sticky Hands. Chi Seo is a training exercise in Wing Chun that enhances sensitivity and reflexes. It involves maintaining contact with an opponent's arms and responding to subtle changes in pressure and movement. The skills developed in Chi Seo contribute to a practitioner's ability to read an opponent's intentions and respond effectively in dynamic situations. Adaptability and practicality. 
Wing Chun's adaptability makes it suitable for a variety of self-defense situations. The emphasis on practical techniques means that practitioners learn responses that are effective in real-life encounters, where there may be limited time and space to execute complex movements. If you enjoyed this video, please click on subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.